Three-year-old Nora Owens was a month shy of her fourth birthday when she was killed in a crash in January of last year. Her mother's disabled car was still partially in the left lane of I-65 in Franklin when it was struck by a pickup. Nora's mom and the truck's driver survived. At the time, Indiana's move over law only required drivers to move over or yield to emergency vehicles or highway maintenance vehicles. Moving over for all other vehicles was just a courtesy, but not anymore. As of July 1st, Hoosier drivers are now required by law to move over or slow down for any car on the side of the road with its flashers on. And joining me this morning with details is Indiana State Police Sergeant Stephen Wheelis. Sergeant, thank you for joining me this morning. Indiana has had a move over law for years. This is different. That's kind right. of explain that. Yeah, so we've had a move over law in Indiana for around 20 years. And so uh, originally it was to protect law enforcement and other emergency workers that are trying to do our job on the shoulders of our roadways. Um, that's changed this year. And July 1st, um, a new law was, part of that law was enacted that says that any vehicle on the shoulder of the interstate or our roadways right. that are displaying flashing lights are afforded that um, right to work and to do what they need to do to be safe on the side of our roadways. And we see so many people who are in situations where they do have to pull over on the side of the road and there are vehicles who are on that lane next to them and they just continue to go. Right. What do the drivers need to do who has to stop on the side of the road? What do they need to do? Yeah, the, the first thing, if possible, get to a very safe location. If your vehicle is drivable or you can get to a safe location, that's always the first step. Uh, once you do that, turn those hazard lights on, turn those flashing lights on, because this law does state that you have to have your emergency uh, lights activated. Um, you have to have flashing lights to be afforded the, the rights that this law gives you. So um, activate those, those lights and um, hopefully our, our troopers are out there working the road. We're going to try to respond and get to you as quickly as possible, right. but hopefully this law will cause people to move over and give you room to do what you need to do. And for those who are not familiar with the law and they cannot move over because one, there's another vehicle in the lane next to them, what should they do? Yeah, so uh, if they can't move over, the law does state that they can they can slow their speed. Slow so, the speed. So we want them to slow their speed about 10 miles under the speed limit. Um, and that way they can safely proceed past the, uh, the vehicle on the shoulder of, of the road safely and, and keep everybody safe. We've seen the video uh, from many different areas around the state where there have been close calls. Have you had any close calls yourself? And when you see in the situation you're in, how do you react to that? Yeah, so people don't know what it's like until you're on the side of that roadway and have vehicles speeding past you at 70, 80 miles an hour. And it can be pretty terrifying how close those vehicles are to us. So um, yeah, it's not something we like to experience and um, certainly know what it's like for stranded motorists on the shoulder of our roadways that are trying to change a tire or care for their vehicle or have a medical emergency that uh, you know it's not not a safe situation for them and so hopefully this law will will give them room and keep them safer on our roadways what's the law for not following the uh, the move over law yeah so right now the, it, it's right it's an infraction um, okay. so basically it's a ticket that you would receive for not moving over um, you normally with the new law we're going to give you some some leeway and and, and educate people on what that law says. So that's our goal right now, but you can get a citation for it. And certainly we don't want you in a situation where you possibly hurt somebody else right. by not moving over. Um, and in that case, the penalty can become much more severe. And then we have to mention this change is meant to protect the motorists who are basically stranded when police are not there. That's right. Yeah, that's that's the goal. And like I said, we're, we're out on those roadways and we're going to get to you as fast as we can and provide those red and blue lights behind you to hopefully give you extra cushion, but uh, it's hopefully to protect you until we can get there. All right, Sergeant Willis with Indiana State Police, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming in this yeah, morning. Thanks for having me. It is 847 right now. Let's send it over to meteorologist Jim O'Brien. All right, gentlemen, out the door right now, 847. We